Hey everyone, CPO here. This video, I'm gonna show you two ways to automatically record your last 30 seconds of gameplay using Game Bar. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in the ROG Ally X. It's really super simple to do, but I'm also gonna show you how I do it when I'm using an external remote controller, such as this Vader 4. Uh, so I have a button that I can press that will record my last 30 seconds of gameplay should anything interesting happen. Now by default, if you um, look at your settings in Armory Crate on the Ally X, in the button pad here you can see um, Macro A is take a screenshot and Macro Y is begin recording. They don't really have any presets for you to use the record last 30 seconds function. And if you're not familiar with that in Game Bar, it's really quite cool. It's basically like a DVR that's recording all of the time, just a 30 second loop when you're playing games and Game Bar obviously is enabled, which is on by default, by the way, in this, uh, in this system. And so um, if you issue the command, which by default is Windows Alt G, it will just dump that last 30 seconds of video that it's been capturing in RAM to a file. And then so for those of you that don't want to record your entire gameplay, you just want highlights for a highlight reel of some sort, this is a way better way to do it because you're not taking up a lot of space with videos that you have to go through to find the good stuff. After something good happens, hit a button, record it, and then move on with your life. So um, by default on the Ally X, it's really easy with the Armory Crate. What you can do is, um, and I have mine here set, my macro button, uh, the left macro button on the back side, which is macro two, that is set to a macro one script. And I'll show you that here. Uh, it's confusing because I didn't rename it. I could probably rename it. But if you go to actions to set what this button does, you can see you have a begin recording option and a take screenshot option, but there is no record last 30 seconds option. They didn't give you that as a preset for some reason, but you can go over to combine keys and make a macro that's Windows, Alt, and G, which will do the same thing. And you just come in here, actually here, let me delete this. I'll just delete this and start over. All right, so this is what it looks like uh, fresh out of the box. I'm gonna come in here, it says press X to create a macro. I'm gonna edit it, and then I'm gonna tell it Windows, Alt, and G. And then that is it. I can go back and I have Windows, Alt, G. Now you can rename this, which I probably should do. So if I come down here, uh, left button is rename. I can call this, let me bring up my keyboard. I'm gonna call it uh, GB for game bar. All right, now it's less confusing to have a macro assigned to a macro. So I had the GB macro assigned to the M2 macro button, all right? So, and that's in gamepad mode. I can also do the same thing with desktop mode. Go to combine keys, that macro is there. I can select it. And now my game bar macro is set for the M2, which again is this one left hand on the back. They're, they're one and two, but if the thing's flipped over, it's kind of weird. Anyway, um, so that way in desktop mode or in gamepad mode, I will have the ability to press that one button to have that happen. Now. If you want to use auto mode, you're gonna to have to go in and choose a game profile and select it in here. I have an older one in here, uh, but I will come in here and choose that. And then now in auto mode, it will also work when I'm in Call of Duty. I don't really use auto mode that much, to be honest with you. Uh, so once you've got that done, you can come in here and you can see I'm in gamepad mode, I'm in Call of Duty, we can look at loadouts, and um, you can see the loadouts I'm working on. I'm just really starting at the beginning and building all these guns up. Um, but yeah, so if I hit control, or if I hit that macro button now in the back, 
I just pressed it. What's going to happen is it's going to dump video to the captures uh, folder. You can see um, mine is in Dropbox. I have it set for Dropbox so I can get to it from other systems. But this is what I just recorded. So there we go, looking at my loadout. So if I was doing a game, actual gameplay, and something interesting happened, I just press that macro button. Super easy on the ROG Ally. All right, now where the challenge comes in is if you're using an external controller. Um, you need one with keybind, and uh, this is the uh, Vader 4, and it has uh, keyboard binding, but it doesn't allow me to do the same sort of key combination. I can only do a single key press. So that's a little trickier, and for that, we're going to use auto hotkeys. So let me show you how that works. So autohotkey.com is where you can go to get that. And basically, uh, it's a simple scripting application that runs on Windows. So you can just come over here, hit download. Uh, I downloaded V2. Get rid of this thing, whatever that is. Uh, and then you can open it and install it on your system. All right, and once you've installed it, it's going to open up this window. Super simple, just hit new script and then it will uh, give you an empty clean slate, create, and you can see it created untitled.ahk. That is essentially an empty document. There's nothing in there. So, but what I did is I opened that up to edit it. And I put this in there. This is what I'm using to convert a single key press into a Windows Alt G command. And what I'm using for this is F12. I don't use F12 for anything, particularly during gameplay, so it's a pretty safe one to use. I don't think many games use F12, and if it does, pick another key that doesn't. But it needed to be something simple that I could press, and by press, either using the keyboard or obviously I'm doing this for a controller, that's gonna send Windows Alt G. And, I, and so what the script is doing is I'm holding Windows down, holding Alt down, pressing G, letting go of Alt, and letting go of, of the Windows key. Um, I'll put this in the video description so you can just copy and paste it. All you have to do is copy and paste it into a, a blank file with a .ahk extension, or like I said, create that new one and then go in and edit it, rename it what you want to call it, put that inside of it. Then you just double click it and it will run it in auto hotkeys. Now, anytime I press F12, and I'll show you this with the keyboard, if I go to F12, it's going to try and open up the last 30 second capture. What it's giving me an error for is because I'm not in the middle of a gameplay. So now that we have the script done, I need a way to get it working on the controller. So for that, I'm using the controller software, which is FlyDigi Space Station. I do need to plug in the controller. I'm just gonna use a, uh, the wireless dongle. All right, now it's detected my controller. And then what I did is I went in to buttons and uh, I've got some weird button mapping here for my particular gameplay, but I have my M4 and my M3 buttons set to F12. That is these two buttons on the back middle. So whenever I play, My uh, slide and jump buttons are here on one and two, and three and four are to hit the recorder, you know, dump the last 30 seconds. Either one of them works. It executes the F12 command, which will then dump game footage. All right, here we go. So 
we'll jump into some gameplay here. I'm not going to play a game game. I will, uh, I'll jump into the firing range or something. All right, so we'll hit the firing range and I'll just uh, pretend that this is some interesting gameplay. All right, and let's say I wanted to record that. I'll just come back here, hit that button that I assigned to my F12, which is going to run that auto hotkeys script. And then what I end up with is in this capture folder, I have the video that is the last 30 seconds of my gameplay. And that is done off of this controller. Really easy to do uh, using auto hotkeys uh, to get a controller like this to do that command. Super easy on the ROG Ally X because you have the ability to program a macro function using Armory Crate and that is the way to go. So, combine keys, Windows, Alt, G for the win. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.